Hi Founder fans, Jason here. We're doing something a little bit differently today because Baby Morris is sleeping right beside me and Emily and Jefferson are out doing an event downtown. Uh, so I have to stay down here. Hopefully I'm speaking loud enough and not too quietly. He's just a little sick. So he's been a little cranky. Uh, but I'm not sick. I feel great. And today I'm going to tell you a short story about one of my favorite founders and that is Button Gwinnett. That's right. His name was Button. <laughs> and Button Gwinnett is absolutely fascinating because right now on Earth today, as far as the last time I checked, Button Gwinnett has the most expensive signature in the United States. Now when I say most expensive signature, I shouldn't have said United States, I should have said of all time. Because my understanding is it's Julius Caesar and then someone else and then Button Gwinnett. Now again, that may have changed. Uh, autograph prices fluctuate, but yeah. And the reason uh, Button Gwinnett's signature is so valuable is because he signed the Declaration of Independence. Now, that doesn't sound so crazy, except most people who signed the Declaration of Independence wrote hundreds of letters, thousands. Thomas Jefferson, for example, his signature isn't actually all that expensive, because not only did he write letters, he signed documents, you know, receipts used to be signed by hand, and them, even all the way through Abe Lincoln, just signed thousands and thousands of things. Bun Gwinnett signed the Declaration of Independence, hadn't signed much else, and then uh, less than a year later got in a duel with Lakeland McLaughlin and was shot to death. And that means that he didn't sign all that much stuff and therefore there are people like me hopefully one day once I make my money <laughs> who want to collect all of the signatures of the signers of the Declaration of Independence because there are so many people who want to collect these he has the rarest signature of them all and therefore it's very hard to find and uh, again I wish I could remember off the top of my head who the top two were it was Caesar and someone else uh, but you know you want a signature from Brad Pitt? Way more affordable than a signature from Button Gwinnett. Uh, that's it for today. A nice short little story. Look into Button Gwinnett. I'll post a, cop a link to my article I wrote on him a while back in the in the uh, doopily doo downstairs. And um, I'm going to put a link to a video. Some of you might not love Stephen Colbert's politics, and I understand that. But he did do a rhyme with uh, a, a rap with Lin Manuel Miranda who wrote Hamilton's play, who, again, you might not agree with his politics, but that's a great play when it comes to learning about the American Revolution. Uh, and they did a rap on the Colbert show uh, because for Button Gwinnett, because Stephen Colbert is from South Carolina. Uh, Stephen Colbert is from South Carolina. Well, Button Gwinnett's from Georgia, so I guess that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, <laughs> but uh, it's really funny, and it's the one time Button Gwinnett was ever given any respect that he deserves. Uh, so, real quick today, thank you. I will see you tomorrow.